it's Sunday, April 23rd, 2023. Time for another fireside chat with Dizzy and a fuzzy little puppy dog. And I'm out at the farm, so there's the fat brat and pretty girl. For those that haven't been following my channel long and might be wondering why I have a gray horse named Licorice, uh, when I got her, she wasn't gray. She was black and she came with the name. So, and I never bothered to change it. So, I said I am out at the farm. I've got a puppy that's thinking about coming up on my lap. So if I move the camera, that's why. Hey. Hey, you. Can you say hi? So I've got a nice fire going. It feels good. It's actually a little chilly out here. I had one day when I could have probably had the AC on. Didn't bother to turn it on. And uh, it's now cooled off. Uh, it's supposed to go down to about 41 tonight. I've had my plants outside. And if it's going to be that cold, I bring them in for just in case. Uh, if they call for a low of 41, sometimes it can be like 5, 10 degrees light, lower. And I don't really want them to get hit by frost. I have a few more nights that I need to be bringing them in this week. When I am going away to Kentucky, I'm going to take them to my daughter's house. And uh, she's got a sunroom so that if they need to go inside while I'm gone, she has room. Also had a new broody this week. I'm really excited about her. She's one of my Easter eggers. It's been a long time since I've had any that lay green eggs that have been broody. So, I stuck eggs in the incubator, in the smaller incubator, and that's also going to go to my daughter's house, because I don't want to leave an incubator running while I'm gone. Uh, I am praying that I will be able to find land when I go, if this is what God's will for me is. In some ways, it'll be hard to leave Jersey and other ways it won't. Tuesday marks the one year anniversary of my husband's death. So I've got that going on this week. I've been a bit sluggish and I think a lot of it is due to just too much that happened in a year's time and especially so close together. So, but I've made it through the year. Let me see. I had somebody that had wanted chickens from me, and then they said they had a family emergency. They couldn't come. I never heard back to them. In a way, I'm glad that that happened because I would have accidentally gotten rid of a couple of chickens that I wanted to keep. I thought that I had all of my green egg layers that I wanted to keep sorted out and realized that I had a couple that were laying green eggs in with the ones that I had for sale. So... If she had bought them last week, because I took the rest that I had to the auction and I got rid of them, then uh, I would have gotten rid of a couple that I wanted to keep. And one of them I really wanted to keep was black chicken laying green eggs. And I kind of like the black chickens that lay green eggs. So, as far as I know, I've got them all sorted out now, so the last of them will be going to auction on Tuesday. The chickens that I have at home will be coming out to the farm for temporarily so that nobody has to go and do anything at my house as far as caring for animals. Of course, the fat brat there, she'll get set up in a pen where she can't get out. So I've been having the grazing muzzle on her. And even with the grazing muzzle, she's still getting quite a bit of grass. The grass is so good out here. The horses didn't even want to come up this morning for feeding. I actually had to go out in the field and get them. So, but I got them up and fed them. And of course, Slickers doesn't want the grazing muzzle on her. And I've often wondered when I still had Stormy whether or not he was actually getting anything out of the grazing. Well, I have never had a time, a, a year at this time, that I haven't been giving them hay. And I have not put hay out for a couple weeks now. And they've been fine. So, 
I have close to 17 bales left. I will be leaving hay for the brat because she's just going to have the small area. I'm not sure there's going to be enough grass for her in that area. Of course, the fun thing is they're calling for rain the day that I leave. And um, I'm hoping that if, they, they will get, yeah, if we do get the rain, that it's not bad. Let's see. Gotten more of my yard done. I'm trying to get it to where I can mow it before I leave. I've gotten the majority of the early stuff in my garden planted, including a patch of early corn. It's something that says it's more cold tolerant and it's supposed to be ready in 63 days or so. Which, if that happens, it means I'll have corn for the 4th of July, which would be nice. And, uh, I've got the majority of it weeded as well, except for the quote-unquote orchard. The house, I've been doing a lot of sorting that you can't really see, which is why I haven't done a messy house challenge update. Um, might not do one until I come back from Kentucky. Well, it's getting dark out here, so I'm not sure how that's going to be for uh, videoing much longer. I said it's getting cold out here. I had hoped to stay out a little bit late because this is supposed to be a meteorite shower tonight. And uh, last night was supposed to be the peak, but it rained, so that's why it's much cooler out here. And of course, with the rain, cloud cover, you don't get to see meteors. So... I hope it's nice where you are, and I will talk at you later.